Hello everyone, this is Uma. In this video, I am going to solve some problems which are taken from GATE 2020 Engineering Mathematics Questions belongs to the topic Linear Algebra and subtopic System of Linear Equations. I already upload the concept video related to this topic System of Linear Equations. If you want to learn the concept of System of Linear Equations, then you can watch the concept video. Now let's move on to the problem. The first problem is, this question is from AG department. It has one mark. The problem is, a linear system of equation has n unknowns, given n unknowns. The rank of the coefficient matrix and the augmented matrix of the linear system of equations are R1 and R2. The condition for the equations to be consistent with a unique solution is what? You have to find the condition for the equations to be consistent with a unique solution. Here, given rank of the coefficient matrix, that means R of A equal to R1, R1, and rank of the augmented matrix, R of A comma B equal to R2, and number of unknowns, N equal to number of unknowns. And also given the condition, one condition is given, the equations to be consistent with the unique solution. Consistent, here I use the result, that is, if R of A equal to R of A comma B equal, then the equations to be consistent. So, R1 equal to R2, then only the equations to be consistent. And it has a unique solution, unique solution. So, R of A equal to R of A comma B equal to N. Here N is the number of unknowns. Then the equations are consistent and have a unique solution. So, here R of A equal to R1, R of A comma B equal to R2 and number of unknowns equal to N. Then only the given equations have a unique solution. The equations to be consistent and unique solution. So, the condition says, I use this result, R of A equal to R of A comma B equal to N, then the equations are consistent and have a unique solution. Here R of A equal to R1 and R of A comma B equal to R2, number of unknowns equal to N. So R1 equal to R2 equal to N, then the equations to be consistent with a unique solution. So answer is option B. Option B is the correct answer. Now let's move on to the second problem. Second problem is the system of linear equations is given, two equations given, has no solution when C is equal to what? You have to find the value of C with by using that condition, the system has no solution. This question is from BT department. It has two marks. First, I find the augmented matrix. Augmented matrix. How to find augmented matrix? Combine the coefficient matrix A and the constant matrix B. This system can be written in the form of AX equal to B. A is the coefficient matrix, X is the unknown matrix, B is the constant matrix. Combine A and B, we can get the augmented matrix. What is A matrix, constant matrix? C, Y and second row 3, 3. B matrix is 5, 6. This is the augmented matrix. The next step is find the rank of this matrix because the system has no solution then R of A not equal to R of A comma B then only the system has no solutions. R of A equal to R of A comma B then it has solution. This is also equal to N. N means number of unknowns then it has unique solution and less than N then it has finite number of solution. This is the condition. Here the given question has no solution. So here I use one result that is R of A not equal to R of A comma B then the equations are inconsistent. So first I find the rank of R of A, rank of A comma B. Here how to find the rank? I reduce this matrix into row echelon form. What is that row echelon form? The first non-zero element in the first row is the 1, leading entry. So I make the first element into 1. So first I interchange that row, two rows, R1 is interchange to R2. 3, 3, 6, 
CY5. Next step, I divide R1 gives R1 by 3. Then only I got that at that element 1. So 1, 1, 2, C, Y, 5. Sorry, this is not Y. This is C, 1, 1. 1. Coefficient is 1. Okay. Next. Next is. Next step is I make this C into 0 because the leading entry below the leading entry must be 0. So I make this C into 0. First row is same. Second row I made one row operation that is R2 gives R2 minus C R1 multiplying C with R1 first row and subtracting these two row we can get this element 0. So C minus C 0 and this is multiply C C 1 minus C and this is multiply C that is 5 minus 2 C 5 minus 2 C. So here finally I got row echelon form. Here R of A not equal to R of A comma B because this system has no solutions. So R of A equal to 1 and R of A comma B equal to 2. Then only R of A not equal to R of A comma B. Otherwise R of A equal to R of A comma B. So it must be R of A must be equal to 1 and R of A comma B must be equal to 2 because the system has no solution. When will you say R of A equal to 1? The number of non-zero row in R A is 1. Then only R of A equal to 1. So, R of A equal to 1 says 1 minus C must be equal to 0. 1 minus C must be equal to 0. And R of A comma B equal to 2 means the number of non-zero rows in the matrix A comma B is 2. So, here 5 minus 2C not equal to 0. Then only I got R of A comma B equal to 2. So 1 minus C equal to 0 means C equal to 1. Substitute this value, C value in one, this condition, 5 minus 2, you can get 3. This is not equal to 0. So C equal to 1 is the answer. C equal to 1 is the answer. The final answer is 1. The third problem is, this question is from CE department, civil department. It has two mark. Consider the system of equations. It is given in the form AX equal to B. The value of find the value of x3 is what? First I write the augmented matrix A comma B. Augmented means combine A and B we can get the augmented matrix. What is that? A matrix 1 3 2 B matrix is last one. First one is 1. 2 2 minus 3 1 4 4 minus 6 2 2 5 2 1. This is the augmented matrix A comma B. Combine A and B, we can get the augmented matrix. Next step is find the rank of A comma B. How to find rank? I reduce this matrix into row echelon form. Finally, I find the number of non-zero rows in A comma B is the number of rank, rank, rank of A comma B. Okay. So, the in echelon, row echelon form, the first step is the first non-zero element in each row must be 1. It is leading entry. Here, the first row is, first element is 1. So, this is the leading entry. This first row is same. And the next step, I do one step. Here, the third row multiplied by, divide by 2, we can get these two rows are equal. So, second row is same. R3 gives R3 divided by 2. So, I write 2, 2, minus 3, 1. Fourth row is same. 2, 5, 2. The next step is, I make these three elements are 0. This is the second step. Because the leading below the leading entry, elements are must be 0. So, I make these three elements are 0. First, I write the first row same. Second row, I do one op row operation that is R2 minus 2 R1. Third row also R3 minus 2 R1, R4 also R4 minus 2 R1 because these two, three elements are same, two only. 
So finally, I got zero minus four minus seven minus one. This is same row. So zero minus four minus seven minus one. Final row is zero minus one minus two minus one. The next step, I check the first non-zero element in the second row is one, but here is minus four. One or minus one. So I interchanging these two rows, R three, R two, and R four. Next step is I interchange R two and R four. So R two becomes R four, and R four becomes R two. Here I do R two interchange, R two and R four interchanging, R two and R four. So finally, I got this matrix. This is R two is interchanged to R four. Next, I make these minus four elements are zero. So this is equal to one, three, two, one. Second one is same minus two minus one, and R three gives R three minus four R two and R four also R four minus four R two because these two elements are same. So finally, I got zero zero one three. This is also same zero zero one three because these two rows are equal. Next, I make the third first element in the third row is one. This is one. So next step is I make this element into zero. The leading below the leading entry into zero convert. Okay. So one three two one. Zero minus one minus two minus one, zero zero one three. Here these two rows are equal, so subtracting we can get zero 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 zero. R three or four minus R three. This is the row operation. Finally, I got this matrix. This is the row equivalent form matrix. Here I write zero. This is the row. Equivalent form. Okay. Now I find the rank of A comma B. Now I find the rank of A A comma B and rank of A. Rank of A equal to number of non-zero rows in the matrix A. Here this is three. Rank of A comma B also. Rank of A comma B also three because the number of non-zero rows in A comma B also three. These two values are equal. Then the system is consistent. Then the system is consistent. Next, these two values are equal to n. N is the number of unknowns. Here, number of unknown also three. So the system has a unique solution. The system has a unique solution. How to find the solution? Here, I substitute. X three equal to three multiplying by X three unknown matrix X three equal to three and second equation is minus X two minus two X three equal to minus one substitute X three we can get X two back substitute by using back substitution okay but here find you have to find the value of X three only so X three equal to three is the answer so the final answer is three this is the final answer. Now let's move on to the fourth problem. The fourth problem is consider the following system of linear equations. Four equation is given. This is one system of equations. Which one of the following condition ensures that a solution exists? A solution exists for the above system. This question is from EC department. It has two mark. First, I write the augmented matrix because I find the rank of augmented matrix only. Combine Row matrix, sorry, coefficient, coefficient matrix and constant matrix. We can get the augmented matrix. What is coefficient matrix? One, two, two, four, three, seven, three, nine. This is the coefficient matrix, and constant matrix is B one, B two, B three, B four. Next, I find the rank of A comma B. So I reduce this matrix into row equivalent form. First, I check the first non-zero element in the first row. This is one, so it's leading entry. So next step is I make these three elements below the leading leading entry elements are zero. Okay, so the first row is same. 
I make second row becomes R2 minus 2R1, R3 becomes R3 minus 3R1, R4 becomes R4 minus 3, here 3 also, 3R1. So finally I got 0, 2 to 4, 4 minus 0, here 2B1, B2 minus 2B1, B2 minus 2B1. Next, multiplying 3, 3 minus 3, 0, 3 to 0, 6, 7 minus 6, 1. Next, B3 minus 3B1, 3B3 3 minus 3B1. Next, 0, 2, 3, 0, 6, 9 minus 6, 3, B4 minus 3B1. The next step is, check the first non-zero element in second row is 1. Here, this is 0. So, this is B2 minus 2B1. Second diagonal element is 1. So, I make second diagonal element as 1. So, I interchange these two rows. I can get the second diagonal element as 1. 1, 2, B1. Interchanging R3 and R2. R3 becomes R2. B3 minus 3B1. And 0, 0, B2 minus 2B1, R4 is same, 0, 3, B4 minus 3B1. Next step is I make the below this entry to 0. Here this is 0, so I make this 3 into 0. So 1, 2, B1, here I do R2 interchanged R3. Next. R2 is same, B3 minus 3B1, R3 is same, 0, 0, B2 minus 2B1. Sec now last one is R4 minus 3R2, R4 minus 3R2, then I can get 0, 0, R4 minus 3R2. So finally I got B4 minus B3. B4 minus 3B3, sorry, 3, 3 into R2. So 3B3, B, B4 minus 3B3. R2 multiplied by 3. So 3B3. And here I got plus 6B1. Here minus 3B, sorry. Here I got minus plus 9b1, here minus 3, 9, uh, 3b1, so plus 9 minus 3, plus 6b1, plus 6b1. This is the row echelon form matrix. Next, this, this system has a solution, okay. So here I use one result, it has a solution then r of a equal to r of a comma b. Here, r of a equal to this is the coefficient matrix. The number of non-zero row in A is 2. So, R of A equal to 2. By using that result, it has a solution. So, R of A, it must be equal to R of A comma B. So, R of A comma B also 2. When will you say R of A comma B equal to 2? These two elements are 0. Then only R of A comma B equal to 0. Sorry, 2. So, P2 minus 2B1 equal to 0 and B4 minus 3B3 plus 6B1 also 0. So finally I got B2 equal to 2B1 and first I write B1. 6B1 minus 3B3 plus B4 equal to 0. Then only I got R of A comma B equal to 2. R of A equal to R of A comma B, then only it has a solution. So by using that condition, R of A equal to R of A comma B, I got two conditions. B2 equal to 2B1 and 6B1 minus 3B3 plus B4 equal to 0. That is the answer option A. The final answer is option A. Fifth problem is, for the given system of linear equations, 2x minus z equal to 1, 3 equations given. You have to find the sum of x, x, y and z. That means x plus y plus z equal to 1. This question is from TF department. It has one mark. First I write the 
augmented matrix first i write the augmented matrix what is that augmented matrix 2 here x y z are the unknowns but here y term is not given so 2 0 minus 1 this is a matrix i write first a matrix 5 1 0 here z is not given next 0 1 3 constant matrix 1 7 5 this is the augmented matrix a comma next i make the row equivalent form so first i check the first row element first element in the first row is must be 1 here it is 2 so i divide r1 by 2 1 0 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 and i interchange these two rows okay 0 1 3 5 and 5 1 0 7 5 1 0 7 here i do two changes r1 divided by 2 and r3 and r2 or interchange the next step is I make this 5 into 0 this is the second step here 0 so 1 0 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 0 1 3 5 or 3 gives r3 minus 5 or 1 so I got 0 1 into 5 minus 5 by 2 becomes plus 5 by 2 this because minus 5 r1 so plus 5 by 2 next 7 minus 5 by 2 that means 9 by 2 7 minus 5 by 2 means 9 by 2 next the second row element first non-zero element in second row is 1 only this is leading entry so i do the next step is i make this 1 into 0 0 1 0 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 first row 0 1 3 5 0 1 1 3 5 next r3 gives r3 minus r2 subtracting these two equations we can get this 1 into 0 so 5 by 2 minus 3 is minus 1 by 2 9 by 2 minus 5 is minus 1 by 2 so here r of a equal to 3 and r of a comma b also 3 this is also number of unknowns. This is also 3 because x, y, z is the, are the number of unknowns. So it has a solution and it has unique solution. That solution is by using back substitution 1 by 2 is that equal to minus 1 by 2. So z equal to 1. And second equation y plus 3 z equal to 5. That means z equal to 1. We can get y equal to 2. And third equation first equation is x plus sorry x minus 1 by 2 is that equal to 1 by 2 so here put is that equal to 1 we can get 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 equal to 1 finally i got x equal to 1 y equal to 2 is that equal to 1 first but i find sum of x plus y plus z so x plus y plus z equal to 4 answer is 4 the final answer is 4 now let's move on to the fourth problem sorry sixth problem sixth problem is let a be a 4 by 3 non-zero matrix and let b be a 4 by 1 column vector ax equal to b has what type of solution this question is from xc department it has one mark here given a be a 4 by 3 matrix and let b be a 4 by 1 column vector but a and b are not given that order only given a and b order only given but a and b are not given so maybe you have to find r of a r of a comma b suppose we can get r of a not equal to r of a comma b then it has no solution no solution r of a equal to r of a comma b then it is consistent that means it has solution Suppose R of A equal to R of A comma B equal to N number of unknowns then it has unique solution. 
R of A equal to R of A comma B is less than a number of unknowns gives infinite number of solutions. Infinite number of solutions. So in this system may have no solution for some B and unique solution for some may have unique solution for some B and infinite number of solution for some B because here A and B are not given. So you are not surely say it has a solution for every B. It has a unique solution for every B and no solution for every B. You have to say may have no solution for some B and unique solution for some B and number of solution for some B because in this problem doesn't mention the A and B matrix. Only gives A and B matrix order only. So I can't say a solution for every B. This is wrong answer a solution only when b equal to zero this is also wrong a solution if b and the column a, a, a form a linear independence this is also wrong only you can say no solution for some b and no and unique solution for some b and infinite number of solution for some b so answer b is the correct answer option b is the correct answer now the seventh question this question is from in department it has one mark the question is a set of linear equations is given in the form ax equal to b where a is a 2 by 4 matrix with real number entries and b not equal to 0. The given system of linear equation is of the form ax equal to b and a is of order 2 by 4 and also given b not equal to 0 and a has real number entries. Okay. Next. Will it possible to solve for x and obtain a unique solution? Obtain a unique solution by multiplying both left and right sides of the equation by A transpose and inverting the matrix A transpose. This is the question. Now, the equation is multiplied by A transpose. The equation is multiplied by A transpose. So, A transpose has the order 4 by 2 because A is the order 2 by 4. So, A transpose has the order 4 by 2. Suppose, multiplied by A transpose in right, left side, in left side, no problem. Because A transpose A is an inverting the matrix A transpose A. That means, A transpose into A equal to A into A transpose equal to I. So, multiply by A transpose in left side is no problem. Suppose multiply by A transpose in right side, then we can get the matrix B A transpose. B A transpose multiplied by A transpose in right side, then we can get the matrix B A transpose. Multiplication of B A transpose is not possible because B is of order 2 by 1. A transpose is of order 4 by 2. These two numbers are same, then only you can multiply. Here you can't multiply these two matrix. So we can't multiply B A transpose. We can't get the matrix B A transpose. So the option, it is not possible to get a unique solution. So option B is the correct answer. No, it is not possible to get a unique solution for any 2 by 4 matrix A. So answer is option B. These are the GATE 2020 engineering mathematics questions related to the topic linear algebra in particularly system of linear equations. If you have any doubt in this topic, then you can ask in the comment section. Let me try to clarify your doubts. Thank you. See you in the next video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel to encourage me. Thank you.